Piers Morgan has admitted he's been left feeling deep unease over Prince Charles' COVID result. Piers Morgan has shared his concerns for the Queen on Twitter amid Prince Charles testing positive for COVID. The next in line to the throne had reportedly seen his mother two days before he received the result. Reacting to the news, Piers opened up to his 7.9 million followers. He wrote. Prince Charles testing positive for COVID just two days after seeing the Queen is filling me with deep unease. The Prince of Wales, 73, has tested positive for the virus for the second time. According to Clarence House, he is isolating at home following the result. It came just minutes before he was thought to be arriving in Winchester. They posted on Twitter this morning, this morning the Prince of Wales has tested positive for COVID-19 and is now self-isolating. HRH is deeply disappointed not to be able to attend today's events in Winchester and will look to reschedule his visit as soon as possible. It is thought he had tested positive during a routine COVID test, a palace source has claimed he met with the Queen a few days ago. However, they also confirmed that she is not showing any symptoms. According to Hello, they added that she is being monitored for any symptoms following the news. However, Buckingham Palace is yet to confirm this. Prince Charles previously tested positive with COVID in 2020. He was a guest at the British Museum last night, where he was celebrating the British Asian Trust. Among the attendees were Rishi Sunak, Priti Patel and Ian Rush. Kirsty Alsop also reacted to the news that the Prince of Wales had COVID in a tweet earlier today. Earlier today, she retweeted Chris Mason's announcement of the news. Kirsty wrote, and, everyone will get COVID at some point, many people will get it many times. Prince Charles, who is vaxxed and boosted, has it for the second time. As long as we make it news we continue to make it scary, which is so damaging. BBC journalist Chris then replied, Hi Kirsty, I think when the heir to the throne catches the virus that's dominated our lives for two years, it'd be odd if we didn't report it.